No more of this. I thought the king was away for the evening. The king is away. I've just left him at his hunting lodge. He's decided to spend the night. Has the queen been... Been informed? Oh, yes, Lancelot. I felt it was my duty. Then I bid you good night. And gentlemen, for goodness sake, try to remember you are gentlemen. <laughs> And gentlemen, for goodness sake, try to remember you are gentlemen. Oh, for goodness sake, I'm sick of goodness. Well, gentlemen, I suggest proof is at hand. Arthur is 
always been good to us. All the more reason to stamp out treason! Treason! Yes! Treason against the king! <coughs> Within these walls, at this very hour, treason cries out for justice! Our kind of justice! Are you with me, gentlemen? Are you with me, gentlemen? Or do you prefer sitting around a table like tired old men? Talking and talking and talking. Take your supply, this is your neighbor. Make sure that you think I'm going to get back.
things are so wretched. No, Lance. Jenny. Jenny, come away with me. The joy is gone. Lance, if you love him so much, what is the good of running away with his wife? Because I want this out in the open and above board at last. I don't want it to be. I don't worry about the future, for we have them. But I do worry about the past, because the past is all I have. I shall never leave Arthur, ever. Now let us say no more about him. But this agonizing torment, day after day, year after year. Do you think you're the only one in torment? I'm just as tortured, just as anguished as you are. But what would you have us do to this man we both love? Run away, leave him, make him publicly miserable. Force him to declare war on you where either one of them both would be killed. Not to mention hundreds of others. What sort of heartbreaking solution is that? Forgive me, Jane. I shall never mention it again, I swear. Nor shall I ever come to you. I swear that to you. I shall never come to you again. Lance, have we no more tender words to say?
Martha. Can you see your goodly Lancelot slaughtering your goodly knights? Your round table's cracking, Arthur! Can you hear the tempest lift? no more, what? for the half the knights were killed in the yard. Mordred has fled to Orkney, taking some with him, I suppose, to organize an army against me. And the rest are in their tents, itching for dawn, cheerful to be at war. See, it's the old uncivilized days come back again. Those dreadful <coughs> days we all tried to put to sleep forever. Then it is your wish, Arthur, that this dread battle go on. It is not my wish, Lance, but I can think no longer what to do but ride the tide of events. The charade begins soon. You must go back to Joyous Guard. Jenny is not at Joyous Guard, Arthur. She stays with the Holy Sisters. Is there nothing to be done? Nothing! But play out the game! And leave the decisions to God. Now go.
my dearest love. And so the wheel has come full turn. Arthur had tried. He had believed in something he valued more than himself. He had meant well. But he couldn't forget the past. It was as if everything would lead to sorrow so long as men refused to forget the past, the wrongs of Arthur, the wrongs of his father, the wrongs that men have done to one another all the way back to Cain were wrongs which could only be righted through the blessing of forgetting them. And forgiving them. But now to do anything at all proved too difficult. Oh, Merlin. Merlin, my heart is torn to shreds. What a blight thinking it is. Nothing was worth doing. Nonsense, you must try. Why? It's what we all must do. We must all be dupes, then. Oh, Arthur, people are dupes and wicked, too. That is what kings are for, to show the way. If you had not lived through this, you never would have known it. One has to live one's knowledge. The round table was a failure! It was an experiment. Order over chaos, right over might. The destiny of man is to unite, not to divide. <coughs> if we keep on dividing, we'll end up a collection of monkeys throwing nuts at one another out of separate trees. I don't know. <laughs> I can't see. I can't think. We will be forgotten, like people who never were. Oh, no. <coughs> you see, I have been there at the beginning. <coughs> I will tell you something. It may not be for many, many, many years, but Arthur and I are to return. Do you know what is to be written on Arthur's tomb? Hic fiegit arturus rex quindam rex quae futurus. It means the once and future king. 